Hey all here, OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the FlyDigi Wasp Wing Pro. This is a clip-on fan cooler for smartphones. So if you're a gamer and you want to make your smartphone run cooler for an extended period of time without any thermal throttling, this is going to be one of those accessories that could be worth a closer look. This one sells for around 25 bucks, so not too expensive. And what's kind of interesting about it is three points. The first being that it has a dual cooling system. So it's not just a regular fan that blows wind, but there's actually a electric radiator component. Xiaomi claims it's a refrigerator on the back of your phone. There's a thermal area that is conductive and becomes negative degrees in terms of temperature, which is super cold, almost ice cold, and that part will be touching the rear of your phone, in addition to having a fan that blows wind across it. So it works with the conjunction of these two aspects to cool it, instead of being just a regular fan, for example. It also has an LED backlight uh, or can change RGB colors, which makes it look pretty cool in terms of the aesthetic. It can work in both a wireless and wired mode. So obviously in wireless, it has a built-in battery and it's gonna work as just a regular fan. If you want to also have that uh, cooling radiator function turn on, which is the part that kind of refrigerates the back of your phone, that will draw more power and require this to be plugged in. So you can bring along a power bank or connect it to your smartphone directly to provide the extra charge needed for that second cooling component. So there's two modes that you can use. As far as the technical specs are concerned, it claims to keep your phone at around 22 degrees Celsius, preventing it from rising any further. So especially for devices that tend to overheat or kind of boggle as the temperature gets hotter, packaging contents include just the Wasp Wing Pro itself that we'll take a closer look at in a moment. There is a second little pad that you can use to replace, uh, almost like this thermal pad that is touching the back of your phone and this is the part that gets extremely cold to the touch so if you want to replace this you can also have a secondary one there here is the usb type c cable for charging and providing power there's a quick user manual so here's what it looks like it's being constructed out of a unibody polycarbonate plastic material we can peel off this little sticker uh, to reveal the two keys that you can tap on the bottom here is for turning it on and there's also a kind of rgb backlight that we see almost immediately it's a very quiet fan on first impression so if i put this next to the camera that's how much noise it produces so not too distracting at all even if you're in a public space you can tap on the top key by the way to turn off the rgb light if you want to conserve on battery or if you're in daytime it's not really worthwhile to turn it on and otherwise the bottom portion here can turn the entire thing off and the bottom here features a type c port there the very back here features some additional accents dual cooling the side vents also pushes air through to the sides of the phone when you clamp it and then on the back here you can pull on this lever to basically pop in any universal smartphone works with any device up to uh, 6.5 inches including samsung's uh, xiaomi's you know any android device any ios device will work just fine soft touch rubber accent also prevents the phone from getting damaged now, it is worth mentioning that it's not the first uh, solution that we've seen on the market. There are some other uh, co concepts which are very similar, other accessories from various brands, but you can see this is what the refrigerator effect is like. It does produce a pretty noticeable difference in temperature on the surface area of this pad. It almost creates this frost or a condensation um, because of the temperature difference being so cold in this region versus everywhere else. One thing I will say here immediately, though, is I do wish that the vents here for the fan to protect the blades uh, is a little bit more closer together because as it stands I feel like it's a little easy to still put your finger inside and the fan blades here are not really soft uh, they're still a hard rigid plastic so maybe to protect it for kids and for those that have smaller fingers they could have made the grills here the mesh a little bit uh, more dense and here's what it looks like when clamped onto the back of your phone a pretty cool effect especially in the dark because of those mesmerizing RGB LED backlights there is a FlyDigi logo on the top of the fan there, but again, this is what it looks like from the front. Overall, it is effective in terms of it does work in lowering the surface temperature of your phone and helps to 
not drop the performance of your device quite as much. Because there is kind of a gentle breeze that's blowing on the left and right sides of the phone, it also keeps your fingers feeling pretty refreshed. Again, when you have the second refrigeration mode activated, this region is ice cold, and you can see even the condensation and dew as it forms because of the huge difference in temperature with the room, with your fingers, and with this region. It's actually pretty shocking when you put your finger on, it's almost like touching dry ice. Now, as the device is running along here, I can talk a little bit more about the benchmark performances uh, in terms of things like the and Tutu scores after you know running it with this fan versus having it off. Overall, I noticed a difference of around 10 to 20% faster or more consistent performance versus if you have it off. Again, when thermal throttling kicks in, you'll notice a more sharp difference where the scores and performance will drop. Ultimately, it's a very low cost accessory, again, selling for under 25 bucks and could definitely be worth it for uh, people that really are interested in gaming and are worried about their phone running you know, too warm or hot. It can also be used for other applications, by the way. Anything that requires you to run the phone for longer stretches of time without it getting as warm. Warm. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but that's been our quick look at the Flydigi Wasp Wing Pro.